It's Good News with Gary, featuring University of Akron President Gary L. Miller. Hi, everyone. Here's some good news from the University of Akron. I hope everyone in the UA community had a wonderful summer break. With the fall semester starting in just a few days, I'm excited to have you all back on campus, and I'm eager to welcome the class of 2026 to UA. As I shared with the UA Board of Trustees during its meeting last week, I'm feeling incredibly optimistic about the coming year. We're going to see the university explore new opportunities while tackling our challenges and continuing to work on initiatives that continue to build UA as a student-ready university and bolster our ties with the Akron community. In fact, it feels as if we're entering a new era in so many ways with new administrative and academic leadership, new community partnerships, new students, new facilities, new academic programs, and a new athletics brand. I'm really looking forward to standing with the UA community as we rise together in the coming year. The first few weeks of the fall semester are all about coming together again as a campus community, and there are around 40 events scheduled during the UA Weeks of Welcome to help us get reacquainted. Opportunities to get together include New Rue Weekend, Convocation, a first-year community service project, the Rue Fest Student Organization Fair, and a downtown walking tour to orient students to everything Akron has to offer. I'd like to highlight our fall kickoff event at Lock 3 Park on Tuesday, August 30. The kickoff is open to everyone in UA and the Akron community. All are welcome to enjoy food, drinks, and performances by the University of Akron Marching Band, Open Tone Music's Amistad, Caribbean Arts Ensemble, and the popular New Orleans-based Dirty Dozen Brass Band. The first 500 attendees will receive a free limited edition tote bag designed by our alumnus Aaron Flowers, and all students will be entered to win an Akron prize package. The first 100 students will also receive a free limited edition tote bag. We hope to see many of you there for this exciting start of the academic year and a great way to get to know the Akron community. As we begin the new academic year, it's not too early to start thinking about admissions for next fall. There are a number of great ways to learn about what it's like to attend UA. We're offering campus tours, preview days, and online sessions now as students consider their application for next year. Please visit the UA website to learn more about how to apply and how to share the application with others who might be thinking about becoming a ZIP. Finally, I want to offer congratulations to two of our incredible UA colleagues who were named 2022 Greater Akron Chamber 30 for the Future Award recipients. Allie Doring, the Director of Zip Assist, and Elise Ball, the Executive Director of the University of Akron Research Foundation, will both receive recognition in this program. The 30 for the Future Award highlights young professionals aged 25 to 39 who are recognized as trendsetters in their industries, leaders in their organizations and in the community, and catalysts for growth and impact. Earlier this year, Allie was named the 2022 recipient of the Ohio Campus Compact David Hope Memorial Award for excellence for her work enhancing the campus community to ensure students have a stellar student experience. Congratulations, Elise and Allie, and thank you both for your dedication to UA. Well, that's some of the recent good news from the University of Akron. I hope to see many of you at Lock 3 on August 30 for the fall kickoff event. Please join me soon for another Good News with Gary podcast. Welcome back and go Zips. <laughs>